Hi, uh, welcome to uh, our uh, November 10th, 2022 meeting of the uh, Pirate Party. Um, my name is James O'Keefe. I'm captain of the Massachusetts Pirate Party. And uh, also here are... I'm Steve. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Joseph Alaroski of your Lowell division. Excellent. So, um, okay. So, in are there any additions to the meeting uh, meeting agenda? Uh, just uh, want to also discuss uh, who we have signed up for the upcoming election. And do sure. you know anything about them? Uh, so why don't we go to the election schedule then? Um, I'll just note that, um, you know, the nomination date was Tuesday. Um, I have emailed all of the candidates um, to see, you know, to get bios and introduce them and see if they can show up to Pirate News and all that other stuff and get in touch. Uh, the people who signed up, uh, we have, of course, myself. Um, we have Scott Brodsky of, of Drakeit, um, who's running for Captain and Activism Director. Um, we have Misty O'Neill, O-K-N-E-E-L, uh, of Boston, who would like to be representative of the United to our representative to the United States Pirate Party. Uh, we have, of course, you, Joe Joseph Onorowski of Lowell, um, for quartermaster and representative to the U.S. Pirate Party. We have Elijah McGee of Lemonster, uh, who's put his uh, name in for captain, PR media director, and representative to the United States Pirate Party. And we have Steve Revelak of Arlington, uh, who has put his name in for first officer. Those are the uh, current that's, candidates. That's really exciting. I would love to actually see them come to our meetings. Yeah, so I invited them. Um, if I don't hear back from them, I will follow up that email and hopefully we can get them on certainly this upcoming pirate news, if not the next. Uh, prior to the meeting, Steve and I were going over the balloting process um, and Steve will work on that this weekend. Um, so that we can kind of get all that stuff in preparation for uh, sending them out on the 15th in five days. Um, so I will get that email out, set up this weekend. With any luck, we can um, send that out on the 14th, hopefully. Um, but we'll now, see. We have that till the 15th. Good question. Yep. Um, so we, do we have one representative or two representatives that go to the national meetings? Well, I, 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 um, usually we have a primary and an alternate. Mm. So okay. the top one candidate gets, you know, is primary and the alternate is, um, the second. And then my next question to you is, Jamie, are you familiar with who is running for these offices? Or Steve, are you? I was going to say. Have, sorry, go, Steve. I was going to say the name Elijah McGee is familiar, though I can't picture the face right now. We met Elijah and decided that Elijah would be our current PR media director. Oh yes, yes, um, I remember. So, um, <clears throat> I know he's been busy with other projects. Um, and, uh, our meetings aren't always working, uh, 
don't mesh well with his work schedule. So that's something that we'll have to consider with the new office holders is whether we need to change when we meet to mm -hmm. something that we can all attend. Well, I, I do want to note, note that in um, you know the 10 years that I've been in the Mass Pirate Party, I think this is the first time there's been a contested race for captain. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see it. Good to see it. Um, I think no one is happier about that than Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. So, uh, we'll see well, how, how some, members decide. Well, the, the truth of the matter, though, Jamie, is even if you're not the captain, you do the mighty big shoes to fill. You have kept us true and steady this whole time. Thank you for the kind words. Um, so anyways, we, we've got to meet with some of the new folks um, and just to, you know, touch base, see who they are. Um, of course, it's the members who decide. Um, so well, with that, I'm, yeah, go on. Uh, on that note, uh, if we can try and get them for this upcoming news election so that we can have us all introduce this Sunday. Uh, I think that would be the probably the most streamlined if we can do that and let our members decide. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, I, I will send it in. As I said, I sent the invitation to them. Hopefully I'll hear back by tomorrow. Um, I will follow up and include them on the pirate news. Um, email that we send out of, you know, how how to get onto the live stream and all that. And, uh, you know, see how it goes. Yeah, and uh, so, and one quick question, is the video news conference part of the PR? That being said, part of the PR, do we have a... It's, what do you mean, is the pirate news, or do you mean this? Yeah. So PR or public relations would not the pirate news be a part of the public relations fall under the public relations? Um, I I would love it if someone else went and and produced these. So yes, I think that's something that would PR media should do. All right. So with that, uh, we have our schedule and the ballots need to be back by end of day on the 22nd um, to give folks time to review. Um, and then uh, also we've got, um, you know, some events that are coming up uh, that we posted. Um, by the way, Aaron Schwartz, uh, his birthday was last election day. And on November 12th and 13th, the Internet Archive will host the Aaron Schwartz Day and in International Hackathon in San Francisco. In um, addition to that, it will also be um, it will also be live streamed. So if you're not in San Francisco, you can still participate. Uh, and that's been posted up on our website. And then uh, this weekend also is the Boston Anarchist Book Fair. In uh, the book fair itself is at the Democracy Center in Cambridge. And then there's um, various uh, talks, various workshops that will be live streamed. Very now nice. Sorry, go on. Uh, I was just saying very nice. Okay. Uh, in terms of fostering locals, um, I know Somerville is something uh, that I've been focusing on. Um, I certainly once, by the time the election's over, um, I will have reached out to as many people uh, who are Somerville Pirates as possible to try to get an org try to get a local started in this area. 
Um, and then in terms of planning for local elections, um, we've got, oh, where is it? Here we go. Um, we've got our Etherpad up with our How to Run series, contact potential candidates, organizers, identifying town meeting, towns, finding dates for cities and towns where people can run, um, and getting this done and calling people and talking with them by the end of November. So hopefully um, our new uh, other officers will be able to help with that. And reaching out to volunteers, that would be another thing, reach out to volunteers to talk with. I just added the uh, Ballotpedia for Massachusetts elections 2023. Thanks, Joe. Uh, yeah, I figured that would get updated as we get closer. All right, so. Um, We've already agreed that we'll do the video newsletter, the pirate news on this Sunday at 730. Um, if other can if if other folks can't make it, then we may find a date. Um, I may see if um, they can come on a different date and we could just record that and put it up. So it'd be good to just. Yeah talk with them and then have something so that members can meet them mm -hmm. uh, virtually at least so now are you both willing to change the date again of what our meetings are or our normal meetings are in order to accommodate some of the newer people yes sure I, yeah i mean i'm i'm more than willing to do it especially if it's between the monday and thursday time slots right <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see what people's schedules are because I want to, you know, maximize where, you know, attendance at these um, for planning. Of course. So, and um, speaking of that, normally we would be scheduled to have um, next Thursday be over Discord, but with the elect and, and not be an official meeting to be kind of an unofficial chat. Um, do we want to have another one of these meetings this time next Thursday? Just to make sure we've got everything set up and check where we are in terms of the election mm -hmm. process. I'm completely okay with that. I am also okay with that. Okay. Great. Um, oh, yeah, okay. And then, of course, we have the party conference uh, January 21st, which needs a conference page and all the other attendant things that go with that. All right, um, other points of discussion? Had something now I've completely forgot about it. Uh, Sorry, say that again, Joe. Uh, I had a few points in that was completely spaced out. Lay it on us. Uh, I wish I could right now. Um, so actually, now there's one thing I wanted to bring up. There is currently another surge in COVID, especially with the change in the weather. Uh, so, in terms of the party conference coming up in January, do you think we're still we're going to be able to get a location? Um, I mean, we it's definitely do one. Go on. Go ahead. Uh, I was definitely going to see if I could get a public library for us to do the conference at, maybe somewhere down in Boston, and see if I can't get us a, a venue even if it's a small one. But um, uh, I think is, it would be, sorry, go on, Joe. Sorry, but interrupt. Uh, no, it's, I, I was just 
filling in the blank of my thought where it's, <laughs> it's a surge in COVID. Um, is it the wisest thing to do? Yeah, I'm always in favor of if you're going to meet in person, meet outside. And January is not exactly conducive to that unless we all plan on going sledding, which isn't necessarily a bad idea. There's a nice hill in Arlington. I highly recommend. Um, but uh, I would suggest, and maybe maybe we could plan an outing for something like that. That's not a bad idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, well, if, this, if the snow is is useful, but before you say, Steve, I, I was just thinking we should probably meet virtually for January. Now, what are you going to say, Steve? I, I was going to say if um, you know meeting virtually is fine, or we could do it contingently, kind of thing where um, you know plan in person, but if it looks like there's um, if there is contagion in the air, then we do virtually. But you know, doing just going virtually and would be fine too. Yeah, I'd rather commit. Bob's. Sorry, go. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say pirate bobsledding sounds fantastic. <laughs> well, let's see if if uh, Mother Nature uh, yields that for us, and we could plan such an outing. Um, as I said, there's a good one in Arlington, although the parking's not necessarily the easiest. Um, although there's a school nearby, so maybe you can park in the school. Uh, is that something that you can do in Arlington, Steve? On a weekend, I'm sure it will be fine. Um, I think the area that you're talking about is like Robbins Farm Park. Um, it's yeah, a big it's hill up by the giant water tower. Yep, that that is it, and there is a an elementary school right across the street from it. Right. And people park illegally on the street all the t well, they park sketchily on the street all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if enough yeah. people decide to make it a parking a parking lane, it sort of becomes a de facto parking lane, and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, so my recommendation would be that we just plan for it to be virtual for January and see if we can do something in April that's more in person when the weather will be more forgiving. Shall we no, commit to that or, or, or make it contingent as Steve mentioned? Uh, so uh, I would say it would be a good idea just to put something down, whereas we're going to do a virtual one at that time. But uh, keep it on the back burner for us to do like a family pirate family event, you know, because uh, that actually just seems like a really, really good time. And we'll reach a demographic that we tend to not really try and outreach to, which is generally like families and stuff like that. So having like an event where we're bringing the hot cocoa and, you know, warm things where we go and have a fun outing. I think that's a that's a really great idea. Yeah, I mean, if folks have any suggestions, I, I know the Arlington one, I'm not sure, if, Steve, if there's a bus that goes near there. I know it's pretty high up. Not really. Yeah. The driver walk from the bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the there's, there uh, with the MBTA bus route, modifications i'm not sure that area never got great bus service to begin with um and you know i i because because of that i suspect it will be even less great now if you had an e-bike it would be a piece of cake <laughs> <laughs> not when it's slushy <laughs> I don't know. The, Maybe that's a, uh, we could put that out to members. Hey, we're thinking of having, uh, you know, in, in this when the snows arrive, and and a sledding outing where we provide hot cocoa and and stuff like <laughs> that. Is that. Is that where? Can you make any suggestions for places we could meet? And then we mm -hmm. just I don't know, put it to a vote or something. Uh, I'm already on top of it. I actually know exactly where we can do a pirate event. Um, okay. It's Neshoba Valley tubing park where they already have the hot cocoa there and if we get enough people together as a big group we could probably um, just do it as one big thing 
Hmm. But we have to. But people yeah. would have to pay, right? I mean, I know I've got uh, I've got I, sleds and inner tubes I can just bring. Uh, yeah, I mean, you'd have there, there is paying, but it's it's short money. Um, if you wanted, it, depending on how many people go, I would be willing to just pay it for everybody myself. You know, right. it's like forty bucks a person for two <laughs> hours of snow tubing, and I can tell you, two hours of going up and down a hill. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's also Tufts Hill is a really good one. I mean, of course, they do put like hay bales in front of the fence because if you go down that hill mm. fast, you're, you're going to really be happy the hay bales are there or in front of the giant trees. So it's it's always an interesting outing. But, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, Somerville has a, has a lot of really cool hills. Unfortunately, most of them are streets. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know. Like my one of my kids' former schools, it's down a hill, and and literally when the snow is coming, they just shut everything down. They'll just slide down the hill. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Well, it's probably not going to be a blizzard of '78 type of thing. So, <laughs> yeah. But we can hope. Uh, okay, so yeah, we can. Sorry, Joe. You were saying. Still a little early in the season, but here you go. Here's a link. And I would be happy to sponsor whatever family came in. It is my personal gift to all of you. Love. Why, thank you, Joe. All right, so we'll see that as a as a possibility to, to mention to our our members and see what feedback we can get. Um Okay, so are, are we agreed that um, the next conference in January will be virtual? Aye. 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 All right, great. Motion passes. Um, okay, with that, is there anything else we need to discuss? Any other things to bring up? Uh, at this time, I think we're good. I still haven't gotten the PPI application done yet. I, I know I've been slacked on it. But I am finally getting over my sickness. So I should be getting. getting yeah, I mean, your help is more important than the application. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I do have a question uh, on signing on to the Mumble, yep. which is coming up. And how that would look, because I know that they're having uh, it is a meeting Tuesday, 10 a.m. There's a board meeting. And did I miss the one from this? Was it on the eighth? Yeah. So on the eighth, there was a international thing, and I just haven't figured out how to actually sign up on the mobile. I know you explained it. Wow. Earlier. I, I definitely was, uh, don't remember how. Is it that an app or an application that I download? Yeah, it's it's an application you would download called Mumble. So I for, okay. think the website is, oh, let's see here. It is mumble.in. So you can download that, and then I think it's just a matter of configuring it. If you want to meet uh, sometime, we can. I, I'd be happy to show you through that. Okay. Sometime this weekend is uh, good, uh, or this Saturday, or something, uh, or Sunday. I mean, un unfortunately, this weekend is a little bit crazy for me. Um, Whenever. So. Anyways, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll talk offline and, and figure it out. 